everyone. Thank you for coming. Oh, uh, what's happening? Um, festival or a day. Um, in my culture, particularly in my family, we first seek forgiveness um, so that we can get over all our grudges and the hurt that might have happened knowingly or unknowingly. And then we walk into the prosperous um, day, a new year. Diva after four years, four days of Diwali, we also have our Hindu New Year. So I want to say sorry to everyone if I've hurt you ever knowingly or unknowingly. And with that, I hope this coming Hindu New Year would be amazing for all of us. May everyone get peace, joy, and be prosperous. 
Um, thank you so much. And now, um, and now I'll have Wesley and Royal who are our hosts for today on the stage and take the program ahead. Hello everybody! Hello. I'm Royal, your host. I'm Wesley, also your host. <laughs> Welcome to Diwali Dinner! Thank you all so much for coming. Before we really get into the grunt of it, we're going to watch a quick greetings video made by Sasa. You're going to hear a lot of different languages uh, from all parts of South Asia. Um, but they all mean either Happy Diwali or Happy New Year. So if you can turn your attention to the screen, we're going to watch a short video. Okay, I guess we're done with the video. Someone switch on the light. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, look at that. All right, so can we just have another round of applause, please? This is Diwali Dinner 2023. We're going to have a few speakers today, but first I'd like to invite Dr. Dean Matthew Dam Schroeder to the stage to talk about a little bit about what Diwali means to him. So, round of applause, please, for him. It's like, wow, I'm a loud talker, so I could probably do it. But it might be helpful to have some amplification. I am honored uh, to be asked to share uh, some reflections on what Diwali means to me and, uh, and the uh, South Asian Student Association and the community sort of that uh, collects around this celebration, this festival. Um, and so today as I was, you know, kind of culminating my thoughts, I've been marinating for a bit, but as I was culminating my thoughts, it was beautiful out. Did anyone get outside, enjoy this? perfect Pennsylvania day. It was amazing, a gift, a blessing. It reminded me of, uh, of what was to come tonight, a gathering, a warmth, a light of community. And uh, I was also reminded that it's already 7.15 if you are like me and you're planning ahead for that lost hour <laughs> and the sleep that, uh, that we might not have tonight because our clocks, right? Uh, it's, it's a challenging time. Daylight savings time. It's going to be darker. 
I, I have this experience where a lot of times, this, this time of year, I end up uh, coming to work and leaving work in the dark, right? Does anyone else, it's dark? It's a dark season. And this is a festival of lights. And I think about the importance of light, the importance of how that creates health for us. And I was reminded that for me, light isn't about the sun or stars. It is about the light of people that I encounter on this campus, the light, the joy of colleagues and students that I see every day. The awareness of this festival, the way that I came to it, is through my own journey to and through college. I uh, came from a small town. I certainly didn't know anything about Diwali before I got to school. This festival has been a gift, a gracious gift of friends who become like family, sharing their background, their experience, their celebrations with me. I am a better, more whole person because of the people that I've come to know, the people who are lights in my life, as they are uh, here at Juniata. And so I want to be thankful that as the days literally become darker and we gather for this festival of light, these are the moments that we have before us, engaging others, human sparks of surprise and inspiration, individual beacons of selfless service, collective bursts of enlightenment that invite new ways of thinking and knowing and being. That is what it means to be at this place. And for me, that is the spirit of this festival. More than a single dinner or more than an annual gathering, it's a metaphorical victory of light over darkness, right? It is good over evil, of knowledge over ignorance. That is what this place is too. That's why it resonates with so many of us from near and far who are drawn to this special place forever. We never leave, at least in our hearts. It's a place that fosters lives of purpose and meaning, lives that will shine brightly, and this is a Juniata heritage, lives that shine brightly on the world's greatest needs. So in that spirit, in the spirit of this holiday, this festival, and uh, in the light of all that have gathered here, I wish you joy, prosperity, health, and wealth in the year ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for sharing a few words. Another round of applause, please. And we have a different perspective on what Diwali means to them from Dr. Jana, Director of uh, CIE International Students and Funding. So please welcome Jana to the stage. Hello, good evening everyone. Um, again, it is an honor to be here this evening. Uh, this is actually my first Diwali experience here at Juniata. So, um, in joining the Sasa and Juniata community in celebration of Diwali, um, you know, there are so many things to be thankful for at this time of year, as uh, Dean Dam Schroeder had to share. So, um, in this period of time and uh, reflection, uh, coming together to celebrate diversity of cultures and peoples, getting to know the Juniata community, faculty, staff, and diversity of students that we have here is so strong, this community. I mean, just look around and what a great turnout tonight. So, coming together to celebrate this Festival of Lights, um, just want to say on behalf of the Center for International Education, Thank you um, to SASA for the hard work that has gone into preparing uh, the event tonight, as well as all of their efforts that they've done uh, to enhance the Juniata community here. So I just wanted to say, um, I hope you enjoy uh, the food, the wonderful food, all of the performances that will happen, the conversations that you'll have with familiar faces and friends, and maybe some new acquaintances. We encourage you to meet someone new that you haven't yet tonight. Happy Diwali, thank you so much. Yeah, after all the speeches, it's finally the food time! Check 
on under your menu, there is a number for your table. Yes, yes, let's see if you get a lucky number. May I invite number one through number seven to grab food, please?
for watching that performance. A big thanks to Scott for choreographing that whole dance for us. Coming. This is my good friend of me. I'd like to invite him to the stage. He's going to be singing a soft, kind of loving song. It's called Chandabhaya, and I'll let him in.
both of them are not able to be here, but definitely they would have been the first to be present if they had the time. So being at EDI at this point, and to be able to see that the diversity that uh, Juniata is succeeding in achieving for South Asians and beyond, and for people from all different uh, elements of diversity, uh, it, sh it says a lot about the commitment of this institution. South Asians, I am one of you, they call me Dulabai, which means like the brother-in-law in that culture, and I am so proud of being a member of the South Asian community. Thank you all so much, and welcome. Thank you so much for sharing these words. I think the amount of people here tonight is a testament to the power and the amount of diversity Juniata has. So thank you all for coming out tonight. Another round of applause for Dr. Abdallah. And our last speaker of the night, I'd like to invite Dr. James Bogart up to the stage to also share a few words about what Diwali means to the Juniata community. So, I uh, want to thank all the students for putting this on. It's been great. Um, I got two pieces of advice coming up. First of all, if you ever go to show this, the hardest bit is falling over. You never want that slot. So, um, but uh, for me, um, going to uh, having the um, Diwali is very uh, personal because um, I've been to India four times. Uh, Dev and I went together, and every time I went, it was memorable and the interactions with the people are what I remember. And the most recent time I went, of course, was 20 years ago, but we lived um, in Kerala for a year. And at that time, Aiden was five years old, went through kindergarten in uh, India, and the one bad grade he got in kindergarten was Indian dance and culture. <laughs> and the teacher, I still remember her name to this day, Pamela Poppin, was uh, just said, there's nothing I can do. And so to me, that just uh, showed the depth of culture in India, right? How it's really integrated into your identity in a way that's different in the U.S. And it was tough on Aiden trying to learn Indian dances that everyone else already had been five years learning. Um, and one of the things that really kind of brought us into Indian culture is when we got there, right, we were the only white people in about a 15 mile radius. And so the kids were something that was really nice, and it was interesting culturally. Anytime we, you know, uh, chastised the children, the Indian women would say, no, no, you're not allowed to do that. Not until they're seven years old. There's some rule that you couldn't come down on kids until they were seven years old. They could do no wrong until that time. And what really got us um, into kind of the community that we went into was that uh, we came in in late August, and so Diwali was right one of the first big things. And everyone in the neighborhood came, got us, and we made the, the in Carol, this is called the Pukala, and you'd see that little flower arrangement, and you made them out of flower petals and things. So it was something where we were really brought into the community. And after that, I was invited on temple hikes, invited to weddings, and everything else. So Diwali was, for us, what kind of opened the door to be kind of a more intimate part of the Indian culture of the neighborhood that we lived in. So for me, it's always nice to have uh, the students that I have in our department, uh, Rohit and Kavya and Aditya. Kavya doesn't, uh, doesn't know yet. She's going to be a physics major, but I'm working on it. But having all the students in, and, and also all my colleagues, uh, also in Sasa, uh, has always made this a special occasion for me. So, again, thank you for everyone who uh, went to, did all the hard work putting this on, and happy to follow to everyone. Oh. 
up to the stage, who's going to sing Carryout. Um, I'll let him take the stage away.
so sorry. I meant to mention you were in that dance. Great job, all of you. Um, for anyone who didn't get dessert, could you raise your hand? Uh, we'll have servers come around. Put your hand down. Oh, I know you have dessert over the corner. Yeah, so for anyone who didn't, raise your hand. We have a couple in the corner. So if we can get those desserts, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And actually, I guess I lied. That wasn't our last performance, but it's a good lie. We have a surprise song from Naveen Mina. Do you want to come back up here?
seems like you all enjoyed. So, thank you for coming. I can't express how grateful I am to have you all us with us tonight. It fills my heart with joy, unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome which you have given us as South Asian community members in Juniata. We all came from different parts. You made us, like you made this like it's our home. The community feeling, the respect, the support we got for doing any of the event, from campus life, student government or anything, it's beyond what I have ever imagined. Thanks for that. So we had great challenges and great opportunities, but we were able to do this and you saw it's successful. It's just because of you, our volunteers, and I will take like two minutes to thank them. So I would like to thank the speakers for enthusiastically agreeing and giving wonderful speeches. I remember like most of them were uh, like mentioned how we went from like darkness to light. And if you observe closely, that's what happened in the so being from we went from darkness to light. And that's the start we have given. You sort of shift from the dark side of things to look forward the light of things, the where night is, where the energy is, where the knowledge is. I would like to thank all the performers for their selfless practice from last one and a half week. So they were practicing for like hours until they were ready just to show you and give you the best. So they didn't get any incentive, they didn't get anything. It was just to show you all the community, the our culture and they did their best. I would like to help. thank you volunteers for setting up everything from food to decorations in just three hours. So Baker gave us this space at 3 p.m. today. And in just three hours before six, we got this all done, just because of the volunteers. And they are all standing inside. So I would like to like make a high. I would like to thank the choreographer Snabu, who is sitting right there. Single-handedly practice, like we choreograph all four dances mostly. So, she deserves this club. Also, I would like to thank all our three new officers. We got three new officers like less than a month back, and they all are freshmen. And I can't imagine this event because of like without them. And they are just freshmen. I can't imagine myself doing them so much in my freshman year. So they really deserve the respect and they are just standing right there. It's their first semester in Junior and they are doing it. So the future is bright. And finally, I would like to thank our president Kavya. See the reason the club is working magnificently. Everything changed from semesters to officers, but she is there from more than a year. She can prepone her exam just so that it doesn't collide with the Sasa event, and she can give the full attention to Sasa. So I don't think there is anything more anybody can do for the Sasa that she has done. So thank you. for everything you've done to make this dinner possible. So another round of applause for them. Now, let's have Wesley to do such a lovely, thankful note without his script. Let's see how he does. Well, I just want to reiterate the thank yous to everyone, our volunteers, our dancers, performers, our singers the baker staff, the video production team, and everyone else involved. Of course, the guests for supporting Sasa and support. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so, so much for coming out tonight. And thank you to everyone who helped to make this dinner possible. You got everyone! Woo! All right, we won't be keeping
keep you any longer. Feel free to head out. And thanks to Wesley and Royal also. Okay, thank you everyone. I'm sorry, but I need, I know we are all like not visible, but I really need a selfie to send home. So my mom's sure that I had a big fat family to celebrate Diwali with. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>